So I did this video a couple weeks back about how to make a DI2 wire routing tool through frames and bars and such and anyway I wanted to make a list of 10 different uh, other little helpful tools you can make out of just random parts so number one we got the sharpened uh, quick release skewer basically it's just a quick release skewer and you can uh, grind the tips there two different ways for you know kind of like an easy out and then a reverse easy out and these are basically used to uh, thread spoke nipples into a bike rim when you're trying to get one built up quickly basically to make this tool you remove the quick release lever mechanism and you're left with a little hole there it's kind of handy makes it easy to hang it up or whatever when you store it when you need it and uh, anyway you want to grind the on the edge of a grinding wheel and you'll just you know pull back and turn either clockwise or counterclockwise to get the right uh, you know something you got to kind of experiment with but you know it's as you're tightening a nipple on like this it actually gets tighter to the nipple until the spoke bottoms out and actually ejects the tool there so you know tool number two uh, it's on a similar note it's the ground down uh, standard screwdriver tip there and these are handy to you know once you get your wheel built you want to tighten them all into a certain depth that are, is the same there it's super quick and easy I've got a couple different lengths here for different rim depths usually I'll use the previous tool on a really deep dish rim but pretty handy tool that I use a lot it's chop uh, number three is the old ground down 3 8 axle basically just uh, bend the end about an inch or so in and uh, some you kind of got to grind the edge off but the, uh, we use these to knock uh, cartridge bearings out of hubs or whatever you know if there's just barely enough room to get a something on the edge there so sometimes you have to make that edge really sharp but this is a super handy tool for knocking out cartridge bearings that brings us to number four and just a good old spoke bent up with a magnet on it super handy for getting that screw that went rolling under your your workbench or you know underneath the rug or whatever that you can hardly reach uh, anyway number five got the old sharpened spoke uh, usually I'll use a pick for this but you know this is handy just cheap free easy to make tool kind of out of focus there but uh you know once you've cut your cable brake cable or shift cable housing you know you get that little teflon tube this will open it up so you can get your wire in there nice and smooth number six uh this is a another spoke tool um these used to be sold commercially but it'll kind of compress your chain in if you're taking out your quick link or connect reconnecting a new chain after you have it sized and everything kind of makes it a little easier Number seven, uh, I have a variety of these. It's the uh, it's a bladed spoke that I've made in all. I've got tons of these that for different applications. But it's uh, you know when you're routing a wire, uh, inner wire on you know one of the newer aero frames, road frames, or a TT or tri bike. Um, it's super easy to grab hold of that the inner wire. Sometimes you can see it, but you just can't quite grab it with pliers. You can grab it with one of these hook tools. Um, makes it super easy. Uh, number eight, back with the spoke thing again. I'm sure everybody's had, uh, well, probably not everybody, but there's a phenomenon of sometimes getting uh, one of the, your cables corroded up into a bar end shifter like this. Pretty common on a lot of the triathletes' bike that like to sweat and get Gatorade and whatever else in there and you know, sometimes the cable breaks and you can't quite get that little head out. Well, this is basically a the middle section of a DT Revolution spoke. It's the 1.5 millimeter section, sharpened. It's about an inch long. Uh, if you if you cut the cable right at the at the head of the shifter there, these work really well to get that thing out. I'd say it's about a 95% success rate. Uh, tool number nine, another spoke tool. Just a good old spoke clip 
thing there. You just basically take a spoke and bend it around like so. Super handy. I use these all the time to hang people's old parts on their bikes or new parts we're getting ready to put on bikes. I have them on my workbench kind of to organize tools or hang random stuff or you know just whatever. Got another one kind of down the way there that you know that's where I charge my little headlight. Uh, anyway bonus tool. Number 10 this is a bonus tool. It's three and four and one, three and one. It's basically a water bottle. You can put your hot water in Dawn with an old chain, shake it up, rinse it with hot water till it's clean, makes a good chain degreaser. You can cut it up, use use it for a shim to keep those DI2 wires off the spindle of a like a BB30, you know, non-DI2 frame where the wire may come in contact with the spindle. Would work also with the head tube of a keep the you go right through the head tube. Anyway, you cut your bottle up, top part's a funnel, dig the inner part out, and you can use it for a little funnel. Bottom part, I use this a lot to, my bench is pretty chaotic. Sometimes I'll use it to keep track of small bolts and things. Or you can make a bigger section of the bottom, keep pins or whatever if you got some sentimental bottle that's too nasty. But, anyways. Uh, that's it. Thanks for watching. More tips to come. Subscribe if you feel like it.